right, here we go. So hello, everybody. I am Carolyn Byers. I'm the Education Director at Madison Audubon, and I'm here with... Hi, I'm Milka, and I'm a Summer Educator. Awesome. And today we are here to do some nature journaling with our taste buds. <laughs> so this is going to be a, a shorter lesson. We did a longer one like this four weeks ago, I guess now. This is part of our virtual summer camp. Um, and this year we are exploring senses. So this week is all about smell mostly and a little bit of taste. Um, so if you're curious or want to join in on the summer camp fun, it's all free. It's open to anyone. You don't have to be a member. It works pretty much anywhere in North America. Um, so you don't even have to be in Wisconsin. Um, and you can find all that information on our website, madisonaudubon.org. And I'm going to put a link in the comments when we're done. Awesome. And if anybody... <laughs> Oh, funny. My meeting will end in 10 minutes. Um, that's okay. So if anybody has comments that they would like to share in our uh, Facebook chat, you can, and we'll try to try to answer them at the end. And if you're watching this later, that's okay. You can um, comment later. So I'm going to share my screen really quickly so you can all see um what we're going to be oopsies <laughs> okay we're sharing it like this i guess that's not what we want to share here we are we are going to be doing some flavor writing and drawing and smell writing and drawing and this is a nature journal page by an artist named kate rudder and she said we could use this as an example today which is super awesome thanks kate um so if you are watching this and it's not live, you can pause here and take a look at all the parts of it. She's got some drawings of an orange on the outside and the inside. She has, these are the colors that she, um, she sees in her mind when she tastes this. These are the shapes she sees in her mind when she tastes this. And here she has a flavor chart where she's thinking about how sweet or bitter something is. And she puts a little dot on the line where it is. So you can create, you can copy this, you can create your own. And this is kind of what we're going to be working off of today. And I'm going to stop my share. And I have a card like this already drawn out. So we're going to do this really quick today. And um, if you want to watch a longer version, you can um, find that on our Facebook page or on our YouTube page. Um, so it looks like... Milka, tell us what you're what you're going to be drawing and eating and smelling. So I picked out a culotte because I thought they were really fun. And the color was also really weird when I first saw it. And it's supposed to be a mix of a plum and an apricot. So we'll see if it's any different than either of those two. I have never eaten one or smelled or seen one, actually. This is really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to be doing a little cherry tomato. Um, so... I'm really excited about them because they're they're new in my garden lately. Um, but I think we should get drawing because we have seven minutes left, Milka. We can do it. Yeah, we have time. All right. So I'm gonna draw my tomato here. I'm gonna draw it for you like this. So I've got not my best circle, but you know what? It's gonna work. And then I wanna draw this little hat that. The, the leftover bit of the, the flower that made it. The cutest part of the I love it. Okay, so this is my tomato and I'm gonna paint it. Ooh. I like the 3D, the 3D you've got going there, Milka. Thank you. The shape is really fun and round, so hopefully I'm doing it justice. Mine, it looks a little bit more brown than a plum. So yeah. I might add a little bit more brown than I would think to. So it might be a little hard to see, but it's pretty dark. It does look pretty dark. I think that's really neat. Usually I think of fruit as being very bright. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the way it tastes and smells will be similar to the color that it looks. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe we'll end up in a situation where it tastes really bright, but looks really dark. Yeah. Okay. 
All right. I've got my little top hat here. Okay, so I drew the outside. I think I'm gonna cut mine in half too. Um, oh, but I wanna write some notes first. So I'm noticing that my tomato has a smooth, firm skin. And the green parts are fuzzy. Okay. You can barely see it online, but I have a lot of speckles. Speckles, ooh. Yeah. And the skin is also really firm. It's, it's just barely right. So it has a little give to it, but it's not completely hard or soft. And this is a cross section, and these are little seeds. And I think, I think I will paint that if I have time at the end, but I really wanna start in on my smell shapes and colors and my smell chart now. So I'm gonna smell it. <sighs> And I'm gonna try, so I know that like, I, I can smell this and I know what color it is. So I'm gonna try to shut my eyes and just think about colors, not about the fact that this is a tomato. I'm just gonna think about colors. Kind of smelling like a yellowish green. Hmm. I'm smelling almost nothing. Interesting. A lack of color almost. But I guess if I had to give it a color, it would. It's not pretty green. Okay, so I think my smell is kind of like a wavy line. A wavy, that's my smell shape. And I'm going to make it a really yellowy green. I'm choosing more of a bright green. I can smell it really closely. It's almost like mowed grass, but just barely. And it doesn't smell very strong. So I wanted to have lines that were just a little bit wavy and a little bit more subdued or hard to notice. Mm -hmm. hmm. I would say my smell is not extremely sweet or bitter. And it is not particularly strong. It's a, it is a sustaining flavor or smell though. It lasts a long time. And then smooth or tart? Hmm. I think it's right in the middle. Yeah, I found that my, my sweet and bitter, there wasn't really too much of a, something that I could smell. So it was smack in the middle for me. It's a pretty weak smell, but it was really smooth. And I'm glad that my lines here kind of tell that story. And then when I smell it and move my nose away, it's almost like I didn't smell it at all. So it's super fleeting. It's cool. 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 All right. So I think it's time for me to taste. And we have one and a half minutes left, Melka. <laughs> so it's time to taste. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. You know, I think that is both mellow and like spiky all at once. So like kind of like a circle with, I don't know, like speech bubble lines coming off of it, I guess. I get a little bit of that too. And I think it's because it's coming from 
the different tastes are coming from the skin and from the food itself, the flesh. Mm -hmm. I think I might do a spicy lime that will smooth out. And I think my taste is bright yellow. I'm thinking, I'm getting a little bit of that greenish color that I got before, but I'm also getting something a lot brighter and more tart. So maybe I'll go with some red in here too. Mm -hmm. All right. And I think my taste is on the sweeter side. It's a strong taste. I think it's more tart than smooth, but still pretty in the middle. And it's a sustaining taste. It lasted quite a while. Okay, Milka, real quick, how was your taste? I had something pretty similar. It was more sweet and bitter, pretty strong, pretty smooth.